Hi guys, Eric the Entertainer here. What I thought I'd do today is just give you a bit of an insight into who I am, um, what I do, and uh, yeah, just let you get to know me just a little bit better so that you can make a decision on whether you want to use me as your DJ. And um, yeah, I thought it was always good. People do buy on the fact that they uh, get to see who you are and what you do, so here I am. So um, first of all, I've been a DJ now for around about 20 years, and uh, during that time, I've kind of carved out a bit of a niche in the corporate and wedding space, but can still do the likes of your 30s, 40s, 50s, um, that kind of thing. I'm not really a 21st DJ, I'm definitely not a drum and bass or club type DJ. Um, my speciality is around the 70s, 80s, 90s, a little bit of today and, uh, and that kind of music because I find that that's the kind of stuff that people dance to and have fun with and at the end of the day that's what your function's all about, is making sure that your guests have a lot of fun, uh, they enjoy the music, they dance, uh, they can sing along to what they're listening to and they kind of know what, what's going on. So let's have a wee look around first of all my rig and uh, let's see what, uh, what I've got and give you a bit of an idea of, of what I do. So on the very front of the rig I've got these cool nano leafs. Uh, they are the lights that flash in time with the music and they uh, give off a really cool look and uh, make the whole place look awesome. For my main lights I have a Chauvet gig bar and that has uh, two coloured spotlights. It's also got the uh, side ones that flash around you can see there, a laser on the top and also some strobe lights that uh, make the whole place look really good as well. For mixing I use the Numark MixTrack Pro 3 um, and that's quite good for putting in a bit of a backbeat if you need it or just mixing between the songs obviously to, um, to make that seamless. The mixing software I use is a program called Virtual DJ and what that just allows me to do is be a little bit creative and what you can see I'm doing here. I've got a couple of songs loaded into the, uh, to the decks just fading between the two of them and um, yeah, it just makes it a nice seamless uh, process when you're listening and you just get to enjoy the sounds. So I have a few options when it comes to sound systems. I have uh, you know, battery powered ones that can be used outdoors for wedding ceremonies and the like. I've also got this, this is my Big Bertha system. Um, this is for bigger venues, it's also got a, a large subwoofer that comes with it. And I've got a smaller system as well that can be used for medium sized rooms so that you're not getting blasted away by the sounds. So I hope that gives you a little bit of insight into the equipment I use, the kind of things that I do while I'm uh, DJing for your gig. Now, just one of the questions I get asked quite a lot is Spotify or DJ? And Spotify can be great. If you're just wanting a bit of background music, you've got a bit of equipment yourself that you can set up to provide the sounds, then Spotify is a really great thing to have. And there's some really good playlists out there, including my own. Um, look out DJ Eric's party playlist if you want something a little bit uh, you know, upbeat to, um, to keep the party going. But the main difference between, I guess, using Spotify and having a DJ is really that reading the crowd and knowing when to play what. Um, and that is the, the real skill of the, uh, of the DJ, is knowing their music, knowing what works well with other songs, um, how to bring the crowd up, how to bring the crowd down, and, and that kind of thing. So the other thing that you get with having the DJ is obviously we bring along all of our professional equipment. Uh, we can provide you with a microphone if you're going to be doing speeches. Um, in my case, I have a professional Sennheiser wireless microphone, um, which you know is, is great when you do want to do those speeches, make announcements, that kind of thing. And I even have uh, some brides at weddings who want to perform, sing a song, um, I can cater for that kind of thing too. Uh, I do have a very large music selection, but if you do have special requests or songs that are special to you, let me know and I can source them for you and make sure they're part of the playlist for that special day. So that's me, I'm Eric the Entertainer. Hope that's given you a little bit more information about who I am and what I do. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to hearing from you and getting your booking. Cheers for that.